Hi, I'm Kevin Kerr for Uncommon Wisdom Daily. The U.S. dollar is still officially the world's reserve currency, but investors are increasingly losing confidence in it. Meanwhile, the euro is coming apart at the seams. More and more capital is flowing out of these fiat currencies and into tangible assets, such as gold, silver, oil, and agricultural products. This is why I believe that the commodities are becoming the world's new reserve currency. And it's why countries that have vast amounts of natural resources are going to be the big winners in the global race for power. Russia has been rising in influence since Vladimir Putin came to power and helped the country rebound from its economic collapse in 1998. In the past 15 years, Russia has gone from a debt-ridden den of corruption to a nation that's flush with cash, has a newfound pride, and an impressive global standing. The main reason for the transformation has been oil, which accounts for 64% of Russia's exports. But the road back to prosperity has not been an easy one. At the beginning of 1998, Russia's oil production and exports were half of what they were at the peak of the market. And crude oil prices have sunk all the way down to 10 to $12 per barrel. As a result, the country had serious trouble paying its bills and eventually had to default on its debt. Most of Russia's private banks closed their doors and locked their vaults. Fast forward to 2005, crude oil had shot up to around $70 per barrel. That increase also pulled up Russia's currency, the ruble, along with the country's influence. And as oil prices continue to rise, so does Putin's stature on the global stage. Indeed, Russia's vast oil and gas reserves now allow it to exercise great economic and political influence over world affairs. At the same time, the global influence of the United States is dwindling, caused by an expanding trade deficit, increasing dependence on imported fossil fuels, and deepening public debt, and the rapid devaluation of the dollar. Vladimir Putin recently said, quote, the U.S. is living beyond its means and shifting part of the weight of its problems onto the world economy, acting to some extent as a parasite on the global economy and its dollar monopoly position, unquote. Meanwhile, the EU and the euro currency are hanging together by a threat, and much of Europe is highly dependent on energy from Russia. In fact, Russia supplies gas to at least 40% of German households. Finland and the Baltic states, including Estonia, here where I live, purchase all of their gas from Russia. The Russians truly have us over a barrel. The country has actually withheld oil and gas supplies to further its political objectives. All the way back in 1990, the then Soviet Union cut off petroleum deliveries to Latvia. The same thing happened to Lithuania in 1999 and in 2006, and to Estonia in 2007. Putin's regime has also halted or reduced the flow of natural gas supplies to Ukraine, Belarus, Georgia, Moldova, and even Bosnia. Russia has the ability to turn off the spigot to Europe, too, and it could happen. This is important to you as an investor because it's a potential profit opportunity. The Market Vectors Russia ETF tracks the price of the DAX Global Russia Index, consisting of 48 securities publicly traded in Russia. The RSX allocates approximately 33% of its holdings to oil exploration and production. Another riskier way to play the Russian markets is with currency shares, the Russian Ruble Trust, ticker symbol XRU. However, I usually prefer ETFs that don't have a single country focus. So in order to get exposure to Russia, as well as other BRIC countries, I'd recommend the iShares MSCI Emerging Markets Index. I'm Kevin Kerr for Uncommon Wisdom Daily. Please make sure to tune in every week for more tips on profiting from natural resources.